Hey everybody, I am here with George Papa Nicholas, who is a Joico celebrity hair colorist and a colorist at the Andy Lacombe Salon in West Hollywood. George, two weeks ago, changed Lindsay Lohan from a very deep, dark brown to a beautiful, buttery, summery blonde. George, we want to know the real scoop. What did you do? How did you do that? How long did it take? Fill us in. These, this is a major process. It's probably a colorist worst nightmare situation just because it's it's such a drastic change and a lot of things can go wrong in the process so um, anytime you're doing a drastic change like this um, you want to make sure the clients know you know a realistic expectation of, of what's going to happen you know as far as time frame because it's a long process um, also that you know you need to be honest about the condition of their hair and what it's going to feel like after because it won't feel as silky and soft as it when, when you start it what I start with anytime I do a major drastic change from dark to light, I start with my, um, a color remover, which gently removes as much of the pigment as you can. And then once you get most of the pigment out, then you go with like a bleaching agent over it and keep stripping the color out, which you can do, usually do the color remover about three times, and then you go with the bleaching agent one or two more times, getting as much of the color out as you can. With Lindsay, we got it, it came out to about, you know, it's still a kind of a yellowy orange, and then once you get into that tone, you go over that with your favorite color. I, I like a demi-permanent, um, and I use Joico's Barrow Cape Pack color um, N8 on her, which gives it a nice butterscotchy tone. And uh, once you get into that butterscotch tone, then you can go through the hair and you know do your highlights. And on Lindsay, I just did balayage highlights over it. Um, using, what kind, what formula for the highlights? I use a bleach, Barrow, Barrow Light Bleach with 40 volume developer and just do a pretty heavy application of highlights on it. Mostly like you want to focus, you know, in the crown and around the face and then, uh, you know, lighten that to a pale blonde. And, um, you know, you definitely want to follow up with a reconstructor on the hair like Joico's um, Deep Penetrating Reconstructor because, you know, anytime you're stripping hair out to such a drastic change, you want to make sure you're like, rebuilding the hair and keeping it strong and healthy. How long did this take? It was a long day. It, from start to finish, it was about nine hours. So it's, it's a long process getting it. And I was a little shocked how beautiful the condition was that you said you just conditioned it once or do you condition it throughout the day? You condition it as you go and then, but it's, you know, it's, again, it's a long process. A lot of shampooing, lots of conditioning. Just, and if, if you get to the point where the hair starts feeling like you can't handle anymore, as a colorist, it's, it's really your responsibility to stop at that point and you know let the client know like your hair really can't take anymore and you can decide the course at that point where in a month from now maybe you can go lighter again or if your hair is really can't handle anymore you need to find something that's going to work at the level you're at okay bottom line was she happy she loved it i think we were all shocked at actually how amazing it was i surprised myself sometimes oh that's so, great so so you were happy i was happy uh. it was it looked it looked pretty it was it stayed on her head um and it looked beautiful. So Which is always a goal with a colorist. To, you know, we want, we want the hair to stay on the head. That's totally, pretty good. Totally. Well, thank you, George. Thanks for that insight. That's uh, pretty cool. We've been trying to find the guy who transformed her. That, good job on that one. Great. Thank you. Thank you.